Annyeong Haseyo. Good afternoon, thank you. My name is Thomas Cavanaugh. I am the executive director of Bandaloop. We are a vertical dance company. We perform on bridges, buildings, cliffs, and natural spaces throughout the world. <clears throat> At Bandaloop, we believe in the power of a perspective-shifting, site-reactive dance. Our dialogue between vastly different cultures and people as a tool to invite authentic engagement and allow for creative curiosity is paramount. It is our culture of safety that permeates the organizational makeup, and it allows for our depth of spirit to recognize and materialize flight. We have performed in over 37 countries, over 25 years of performance history. We bring dance to new audiences in both natural environments and the physical urban space. For Bandaloop here in Shanghai, the sky is not the limit. Two decades later, in 2018, you find me on the IFC Tower in Seoul, intrigued by vertical dance, inspired by its global reach, and by the company's roots in nature. I chose to focus on the social good of our public art. IFC Tower in Seoul. I continue now, in 2018, to have this same drive, serving as a cultural diplomat, an art ambassador, a, motiv a motivational speaker. I experience this art as medicine, a medicine for a public in dire need of healing. Vitamin dance, we call it. Let's watch a short video now, and I'll take you somewhere in Oakland. Are we both going out this window? Okay. We're gonna go no top of yes. Low top of yes. You can feel her expressive joy. In 2013, I began that relationship with GoPro. We launched this film together. It reached over 2.5 million views in less than two weeks. We went on to collaborate again in 2017. That was a shoot in Budapest, and I'll come back to that a bit later. Next slide, please. You lost my, my screen. Thank you. I begin today's presentation with this relationship with GoPro because it's a light on the horizon of partnerships throughout cities and with the planning of our own government centers. Ours is serving the social, the economic, and at times the environmental. I'm sure you may have heard this Zen proverb before. You should sit in meditation for 20 minutes every day. 
unless you're too busy, in which case you should sit for an hour. At Bandaloop, we have a new proverb for you. You should balance development, unless it's not economical for you. In that case, you should hold a conference on balanced development and invite guests from around the world to tell their story. This triple bottom line, these sayings, they bring up this dynamic for me, and it is exemplified by Bandaloop and the developer, city planner, and corporate relationship. Why film dance halfway around the world and halfway up a skyscraper? Is meditation a luxury for the rich? Is development a benefit only for the wealthy? Is public art a commodity or a utility? I believe that if we embrace cultural compassion, triple bottom line economics may very well bring wellness and a more broadly used human right, our ticket to social prosperity. It's telling that in a recent South African hosted conference of world culture, the leading theme was human creativity as a vital economic, social, and cultural resource. Our GoPro relationship it began in Oakland, on the Oakland City Hall. This is our home and a gateway for the beauty and rich essence of California. Oakland, as a city, is an incubator for the arts, a hotbed of intrepid innovation, and for Bandaloop, it is our birthplace. It's a breeding ground for vertical dance, and it's where we teach, rehearse, create, film, and deploy our art. We also bring international brands to Oakland. In our case, not just companies like GoPro, but Harper's, Lycra, Sumco, Network, all have come to shoot us on Oakland City Hall. We bridge brand, place, and people through an art economic opportunity. And when that message is about the environment, we go to Yosemite. Like our global partnerships, we also dance in American national parks like Yosemite. And for our National Endowment of the Arts, the clip that you just watched is from a high mountain vertical dance, a film that we built a couple years ago. You can watch the whole piece called Shift online. We embedded ourselves in the wilderness for a month. We danced on granite walls up in the range of light. It is our natural habitat in these mountains. Our dance has grown up in Yosemite and is only an agent of change when touring the urban glass canyons. Nature is our place of refuge. It is to be respected. It is a source of our replenishment. And this message I know rings true here in Korea, home to vast ranges of beautiful mountains and a rich culture of forest stewardship. We are strengthened by dance. The wild that is our dance works into the elevation of our dance. And not just in Yosemite but here in Tianmen Mountain, China, and also in the Dolomiti. Humbly creating and integrating public art into our daily life is a 21st century culturally aware mandate. It is not just entertainment. In fact, it is a principle of nonviolent direct action to peacefully interpret, respect, and appreciate all of what can be awakened. This is in daily occurrence when dancing on a building in public space. We find that this dance, and all dance in the streets, even vertical dance above the streets, 
surprises you along the way and stimulates a positive reaction. It leaves a lasting impression. It seems that city governments and multinationals alike see this too, and it's a shared openness and a civic responsibility illuminated by our performances in public. Balanced development occurs where there is a multi-generational awareness. Publicly accessible art breeds this awareness. It allows audiences to see themselves in the work and the work in their neighbor's eyes. Now let's get back to Budapest. We shot this film in Budapest over the course of a week. You can also watch it in its entirety online. But I want to share you a little story from an audience member in Budapest who knew nothing about GoPro, let me tell you. He was an elder, classically Eastern European, and earnest in his pursuit to speak with me after the show. On the streets of Kelvin Tak, you can see our audience here, a busy public plaza, a stone's throw from the Danube River. He told me his story of when he was young, nearing the end of World War II. This was just after the German occupation and when the Russian siege of Budapest took hold of the city. He recounted bodies being churned into the river, suffering in abundance, starvation commonplace throughout the city. He said to me, you know, we prayed every night that the Americans would come, that Roosevelt and Churchill, for that matter, would resolve conflict with a balanced hand. That end did not come. The city broke to the Russian brute force and was left in ruin for both the occupied and the occupier. We have seen this pattern repeat and echo through time. But he then said something curious to me that I will remember for the rest of my life. You finally came, he said. The Americans finally came. This place, this plaza, can celebrate life once again. A flair for the dramatic, of course, but a taste of the molecular memory of place that we celebrate. This was a profound lesson in the crime that is war and a powerful message in that art is enlightenment. For this man and many others, Americans, vertical dancers from the progressive capital of California, had arrived and spread some joy in the public place. We left behind only footprints on glass and YouTube impressions on smartphones. Benefits to the local, exposure to the multinational, pride for the artist. That year, we went on to debut on the giant IMAX screen. We toured places like Dallas, Shanghai, Los Angeles, Gabon, Norway, San Francisco, Washington. I won't continue. But these structures, these homes, these places, remote cranes in the Arctic, arenas in Africa, they are our glass towers and homes in the urban jungle. It was one for the record books when we realized a fall production and collaboration with singer-songwriter Pink. We performed in downtown Los Angeles for the American Music Awards and a TV broadcast in the millions. But then we came back to Asia for Shanghai Fashion Week.
Larry Emmett, a nice Seoul sunset atop the IFC Tower. There's a triple bottom line for Bandaloop 2, how we fund our creation of dance from the philanthropic foundation and from the multinational corporation alike. We develop our rep and balance with the site adaptable location that is compelled to invite us, welcome us, and invigorate us. Can we celebrate the place, the location, the architecture, and the geometry of the wall? Can we offer the work in some way to the people, both an intended and an incidental audience? Can we inspire philanthropy and, e and equity and economics that support the, commu the community? Can cities approve grand public plazas and green spaces for community access and health? Can architects design green rooftops, vertical gardens? Can businesses support their brand recognition with diverse forms of living art? Most deaf. Here in Campeche, Mexico, on a cathedral. And I'd like to close now with one more video. This one speaks to that boundlessness that I hope brings just a little more joy into each one of you today. Special thanks to all the Bandaloop riggers, dancers, and the camera teams. A real special thanks to the intrepid team at World Culture Open, all of our hosts here today. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Namaste.